guys, ReviewTown.Games. I'm going to be making a review on the Wii Classic Controller. You might be wondering why I have a Wii remote here, because the Wii Classic Controller has a cord. It's just that these, right here, has the certain type that goes into the Wii remote. So you plug it in like this, just like the nunchuck cord where you press it in like this. Now, the um, classic controller and the nunchuck are very different because this has just got C and Z. And then this classic controller has got the, T the, the sticks and the T pad, all these triggers and stuff. And then it just connects to this. You don't even actually use this. So, it's just like the GameCube controller, so if there is a game that's compatible with this controller, like James Bond or Need for Speed Hot Pursuit for the Wii, then you will actually be able to play with it. So what you would have to do is you just plug it in to the Wii remote on the bottom right here, just keep it in, and sometimes it might do something, like it might not work, because this isn't pointing at the screen, but in some games like James Bond, it doesn't matter. So, let's get on to the controller. The controller is really good. Um, I really like this. It's got the cord. It's not that good because of the cord, but if it was wireless, that would be perfect. I know that they make wireless controllers, and now they have one for the Wii U that is like this. Yet it doesn't. It will. It doesn't have the cord, and it looks a lot more different. So the here, right here, is the home button, and it's not. This is not like the GameCube controller, because this control actually goes to the home, and you can use it on there. Not like the GameCube controller. And then you have the start and select, T pad, T the sticks. They're Y, X, B, A, and triggers. So, these would usually be shooting and, like, other stuff like that. And these are to move, but these aren't really for a lot of games. It's mostly for racing or shooters. Because it wouldn't make sense if you could use it in, like, I don't know, a flying game. It might not really work that well. So, the controller, it responds very well, right here, it's Nintendo, so you can buy this at, like, GameStop or something for, like, $11, and it's really good, um, it's a lot more different than this, so instead of having something on the back, it has nothing on the back, like, right here for your finger, just it has these triggers, for your index fingers and then you would be putting your thumbs up here it's not like where you hold it with one hand and then you would have your nunchuck so it's a really good controller to you don't have to actually charge this so to you actually be able to use it you need this to be plugged into here this has to be charged or else it won't work and if it won't work you don't play your game with this controller so this game, this controller is actually really good. So if you're looking for something like a PS3 controller and you like the Wii a lot, so you might just find a game that you can use this in. So I recommend that you get this. So that's it for today and subscribe for more. Bye.